my popular demand, my roommate from season six, Mr. Phil Stacey. Come on, Phil. What up? What up? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm doing good. How you doing? Uh, Looking good. Look at you. Look at this. Uh, look at you. you we are re like reuniting the bromance. Reunited? I know. Anyway, what is your favorite idol memory? Please say it includes me. It, it was just, it was, it was every moment that I spent rooming with you, actually. Oh. Should I just leave you guys alone Such for a little while? Moments. What is this? Okay, come on. Tell us about um, the American Stars in Concert Spring Break Tour. What is oh, this? Oh, yeah. This is really cool. We're going on a spring break tour. It's, it's Melinda Doolittle. Hey. Gina Glockson. Yeah. Chikizi. We're hitting up some cities. Uh, you know, it's it's uh Phil Stacy. Phil Stacy? <laughs> Holy moly. But so it's all the dates are on uh, PhilStacy.com, MelindaDoolittle.com, you know. Uh, GinaGlockson.com. GinaGlockson.com. <laughs> she'll, no. <laughs> she'll be on our show Friday, so you guys tune into that too. Absolutely. Okay, guys, let's get back to business with a look at wildcard Jasmine Murray. Last night she sang, I'll be there, a performance Simon called A Good Attempt, but a little bit robotic. Mm. Ouch. You and I must make the best. Okay, so I think that she's so good, but I don't think that we have seen the best of Jasmine Murray. I think I agree with you. It, um, you know, you can tell there's moments in there when she's singing, and you're like, man, there's something big yeah. in there. And this girl is young, you know? Yeah. And so I, I personally, I know how scary it is to get up on that stage. Yeah. Every, every time I was on there, I was hyperventilating in a paper bag before I got <laughs> exactly. out there. So. And going, what's, what's the next words? What's the next Absolutely. words? Absolutely. So she's out there, and she's jamming to me. Yeah, she's amazing. I thought she was great. Did you? I did. I like her voice. I, you know, she's a sweetheart. And she's another one. She's another girl that's pretty gorgeous. She is stunning. They got, they got the hotties yeah. right now. Okay, Justin. Speaking of hotties, <laughs> 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 Justin, what's up? You're with the fans. Oh yes, I'm hanging out here with Dolores. Now, why are you such a Jasmine fan? She is definitely a great singer. I mean. She's and she's beautiful, right? Oh, of course. All right. Cool. Right back to the stage, you guys. Okay. Thank you, Hot Stuff. Next, let's <laughs> check out Texas native Michael Sarver singing You Are Not Alone. Kara thought he brought his game. Check it out. Just the other night, I thought I heard. Okay, he is so lovable. His backstory and everything. Phil, I saw you get a little smile with that one. You know, I think this guy is great. Last night was his best performance by For a sure. mile, Don't right? you guys think so? He was jamming. I was actually I was actually at this show last night, and I was sitting in the back watching, and I was like, man, he is bringing his A game. I thought... Man, I thought it was cr I thought it was anointed. <laughs> anointed. I Hallelujah. thought it was anointed. It was I good. Tell you it, what, awesome. it seemed easy for him. It seemed easy. It yeah. you actually, he reminds me a lot of you. Actually, oh, he reminds me that you, voice. Baby. Just you. You look at him, and you don't expect it to come out, and then this soulful voice comes out. Right. Why Is don't you guys just make out and get it over with? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm just kidding. Okay. So, what do you have to do? Like, what is Michael going through right now to make himself look so comfortable? Even though we know what the nerves are like. I don't know what he. When he figures it out, he needs to call me and tell me. Yeah. Right. Because <laughs> I mean, he did. He looked great. He looked. He looked very comfortable on the stage, and and he threw down last night. He for didn't sure. forget any words. <laughs> Still like some people. Like some people. <laughs> like some people. Oh, Still ahead, we got Jorge oh, Nunez and Matt Gerard. The judges are blown, rounding down the minutes until tonight's American Idol elimination show on Fox. Joining TV Guide Network's exclusive Idol pre show is season six finalist, Phil Stacy. Yeah. 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 What? Yes. what? That's right. Okay, Phil, you've been through this. What advice do you have for the top 13 at, in this stage of the game? I think the most they can do is just have fun. Don't get stressed about it. You know, don't don't feel like you have to perform at a certain level. Or just have fun. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You get to sing for 30 million people. That's right. We know they're good. They wouldn't be here if they were. That's right. So that's right. Just relax and have a good time. Out of 100 and some thousand people, you know, these were the people that were chosen. At, at this point, just have fun. At awesome. this point, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, I know. That alone's pretty cool. All right, guys, let's continue our recap of last night's performances with a look at Puerto Rican native Jorge Nunez singing Never Can Say. You like that? Jorge Nunez? Yeah, yeah that's, that's good. That's, yeah. He sang Never Can Say Goodbye. <laughs> Just congratulating myself. All four judges weren't feeling his performance. Never can say goodbye. Now, the judges said that he didn't feel connected to the song. How do you connect to a song when you're singing it? 
Um, you know, I just try to internalize it. You know, I try to, I try to relate something uh, that's going on in my life to the song that I'm singing. Uh, but, you know, I disagreed with the judges last night on Jorge. I thought that he did connect with the song. Yeah, I, and I think, you know, what, what must be tough is that he, he's thinking a lot because he's used to singing in Spanish. He's used to a more Latin uh, style. How hard does that have to be? Yeah, Can you imagine? And he has two really big fans. Um, Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony actually text him, or Ryan Seacrest, I think, um, on yeah. his show and said that they just loved him and that they were really big fans of He's his. He's fantastic. You yeah. know, I get emails about this. I, I, I actually write a blog for the Los Angeles Times, and uh, and I get emails from this blog all the time about people that just love Jorge. And, and, and last night, I was in the studio. I got to hear it in the studio. I didn't actually watch it on television, yeah. but the people who watched and the television audience were like, man, it just didn't sound like what the judges were saying it sounded like. It well, sounded he's likable, that's for sure. Yeah, Absolutely. without a doubt. He's adorable. Okay, what about Matt Gerard, another wild card contestant? Last night, Paula called him talented, sexy, and amazing when he performed Human Nature on piano. Check it out. Looking out across the night uh -huh. One, this song is undeniable. It's awesome. I actually looked at Richard Rushfield from Los Angeles Times last night in the show, and I was like, man, you know what would be cool is if Matt sang Human Nature. Oh, Before good he got call. Up and sang, good I know, call. But, uh, man, I, I find myself week by week rooting more and more for this guy. Yeah. He's so talented. I thought he sounded great. Yeah, Paula absolutely loved this song. She, uh, from time to time, when you're in the audience, you can see she turns around and kind of gauges the audience's right. uh, reaction yeah. to it. She turned and looked at me, and I was like, oh, amazing song. And she yeah, was right. totally feeling it. I think the rest of America was, too. I was. I thought it was absolutely amazing. Yeah. I absolutely agree. He's definitely stepped it up. Mm -hmm. Still ahead, our final trip back to the stage for a look at Chris Allen on guitar. That's right. It was awesome. Plus, raw, never-before-seen footage featuring wild-card auditioner Jesse Langseth and her bumpy road to Hollywood. Don't go away, guys. We're going to be right back with more Idol Tonight. I can barely hear you. Here with the combo here with Idol's finest, Justin Guarini and Phil Stacey. That's right. We've had an amazing first show. We I know. Taylor Hicks What here. a great premiere. Oh, without a doubt. Amanda Overmeyer yeah. came hung up. Obviously and, of course, Phil, Phil Stacey, Stacey Brandon and Rogers, Brandon man. Rogers. Brandon Rogers in the house. All right, we've got one more performance. Here's Chris Allen with guitar in hand taking on MJ's Remember the Time. Randy thought it was a job well done. When we fell in love, we were young and innocent. Okay, I love his groove. That, like, group. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about? The, like, the head groove thing. Where does that, you know, where does that come into play, boys? It had a vibe. It definitely had a vibe. But the guitar sort of gave it that sort of swagger. Yeah. He was rolling with it. I liked it. Yeah, I definitely dig him as kind of that acoustic guitar guy, you know, yeah. kind of rock. And rock he and came roll, out of nowhere, didn't he? He really did. I, mean, I read a lot of blogs and stuff about American Idol, and people are like, well, we don't know who he is, but we like him. Because he didn't get a lot of same thing. He didn't get a lot of camera time, but it goes to show you that if you have the vocals, you have the talent, and America loves you, yeah, you, you can go through. Yeah, Come on, do, do your, your job. Do your yes. job and go home, okay? Do your job and go home. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I, I awesome. think he definitely was a little bit more comfortable with his guitar in hand as well. Absolutely. He looked good. We talked to him at good. the Idol Top uh, 13 party, and he said that's his comfort zone, is behind wanted. the guitar. So tell. now, as promised, here are some never before seen American Idol footage sponsored by AT&T of an auditioner who almost made the Top 13. Check it Baby, I'll try to love again, but I know, oh, the first cut is the deepest. Baby, I know the first cut is the deepest. Every year, there's that those one or two people who you wish, man, could have made it. I know, and it was like she was in the game, then she was out of the game, then she was in the game again. This it just goes to show I you know. how great the top 13 are this year. That yeah, she didn't exactly. make it. I mean, she could have been a winner this year. So. Yeah, very sure. true, very true. All right, everybody. This has been a good show. I have it to say thank you guys for being awesome. here. First of all, absolutely. Thank you. Wait, most importantly, thank thank you guys for being yes. here. Yes, thank you so crazy much. Today. Great job, Woo! Brandon, tonight. We also want to thank Taylor Hicks and Amanda Overmeyer for stopping by. American Idol's results show on Fox is kicking off in just a few minutes with special performances by season one winner Kelly Clarkson and superstar Kanye West. That's right. See you next week from all of us on Idol Tonight. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.